Here we go. Jessica, this is wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> We'll make our left turn here. This is a quarry underneath us here. Okay, actually a pretty morning. Yes. It helps me uh, have more room for doing what I need to do. Got it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn final now, and we'll take out some of the speed here. What do you think about the ADA and how we can work on it in the future here to make it even better, more inclusive world for us? The jobs picture still is not not what it should be. When, when almost 70% of adults with disabilities are not in the workforce, that's a blot on our national character. Secondly, we need to change the system under Medicaid and disability, Social Security disability, where if a person with disability gets a job, they start losing all their support. Uh -huh. The third thing is, you know, we put in the ADA a requirement for reasonable accommodations. Yes. Okay. Well, what we didn't put in was personal attendance services as part of that. Uh huh. And that is so important for a lot of persons with disabilities just to have someone to help them to go to the bathroom to do this or whatever. We need to make that as part of reasonable accommodations. But more than anything, we got to keep young people excited. They've got to continue to push the envelope on broadening the Americans with Disabilities Act. Well, we have our work cut out for us then. <laughs> yes, we do. We've come a long way. We've got a ways to go yet. I hope you know what an inspiration you are to so many people, young, young kids with disabilities. I've been so blessed. And just to show the world that if you give someone an opportunity, you, give the, you support them, yep. they can do wonderful things. Absolutely. Such a privilege, such an honor to fly you, Senator Hagen. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, gosh. I couldn't ask for a better anniversary present. <laughs>